I'm with you. I think there's work to be done, but they are continuing. And the environment in which they are in now mm. is a little more complicated. In, during the colonial period and, uh, and uh, independence, the 50s and 60s, it was clear who the enemy was. It was clear what we had to fight against. Right now, the African Union is funded by these outside powers who manipulate Africa. You're so right. trying to get out of that is a little more complicated and difficult. You're right, because in fact, uh, even the beautiful 200 million uh, uh, headquarters in Addis Ababa is with love from Beijing. China. But let me ask you this question. Uh, you seem to actually have compared uh, uh, the two institutions, the African Union, and the European Union, and you allude to the fact that at least you think the European Union uh, seems to be splitting. How can you say it is splitting simply because one country, the United Kingdom, uh, decided to go its way? Could you have said that when Morocco, for example, left the OAU? Well, uh, you, you are right. Morocco did leave, and with regard to the European Union, it is just the uh, UK. That, that is in the process of leaving Brexit. So, so you are totally right. But I, I am actually sympathetic and sharing the point that the ambassador made, which is that Africans are people. African leaders are in the same political environment as many other places. Keeping countries, keeping uh, uh, continental unions is very difficult. Whether